Thank you very, very much. Happy Monday to you all out there. Um, it is the Monday after Super Wild Card Weekend. And for you non-football play, uh, football fans, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But this year, for the first time that I can ever remember, I'm, I'm almost certain the first time ever, they allowed seven teams from each conference into the playoffs, which normally there's only six. So number one and number two teams, they get a buy and they just eke their way into the divisional round, which is considered next weekend. So I'm a diehard Bears fan, like to the point where I've thrown away T-shirts. I throw hats. I've, I've cussed in front of my son. I'm not proud of these moments, but I'm sitting there watching my Chicago Bears Back into the playoffs. They're the number seven seed last uh, this past year. Eight and eight. They did not belong in the playoffs. In fact, at some point in the season, they had a six-game losing streak. Hello. No team that loses six in a row should ever make the playoffs. But, hey, it's COVID, so the Bears made it this year. Yay. Yay for a dreaded Sunday as a super fan. So, they are playing the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans. Thank goodness there's, like, like 17 fans in the stands because that place is normally rocking and it would have been a lot worse. So long story short, they end up losing the game. They had their defense played great. The first uh, first half, maybe even into the, into the third quarter, but their offense did nothing for the bears. Like they were abysmal. In fact, they were so bad. I don't think until the final drive of the game, when it was completely out of reach, did they finally convert on a third down? Now, many of you guys know, maybe, maybe you don't, but I used to coach high school football here in town. And when I did it for eight years, yeah, eight years, coaching 15, 16, 17-year-old boys who the last thing on their mind was football, if you know what I mean, um, and trying to get them focused and trying to get them to stay the course. And like, I'm very, very passionate about it. I, I probably took it a whole heck of a lot more serious than they did. And so one thing as a coach that we really, really, really wanted to hammer was converting on third downs, like from a defensive perspective, like they're going to call it the money down. Right. And so this was, this was our go to play. So in the course of practice throughout the week, we had a series, we had a section in practice where we just focused ladies and gentlemen on third downs. Okay. So the kids in my head, they were like, okay, so when it's third and eight, these are the calls that coach is going to make. And so had everything scripted out and each week kind of changed. But at some point there's always that go-to play that, you know, the kids know like the back of their hand and they're going to execute it to perfection every single time. So we focus on third and eight, third and five and third and two. So every third down conversion that we did not convert during practice, we had five up downs. So these kids were lobbying hard. They're like, no way coach. Like it, it was third and five and we got five and a half yards. I go, Nope. And so like they would have to do up downs after practice. Like I was a complete dictator out there, especially with a whistle in my mouth. Right. I was a complete jerk. But now looking back at it, like the kids were like, that was amazing. Like I wish more people focused on that. So as I'm watching the game yesterday and like the bears are awful in the red zone, which means like the 25 and in, like this is where they're going to score points. Like they're like the worst team in the NFL of all time. They're terrible on third downs. They do not belong on the field with the saints. So I'm like, well, no wonder they didn't convert a third down the entire game. The Seattle Seahawks converted, I think, two of 14 uh, the day before. Like they got the doors blown off as well. So third down is a very, very, very key down. It's also a key down for us in real estate. So third and eights are difficult, right? Like it's 99.999% of the time, it's a pass at least nine to 10 yards down field in order to get the first down because let's face it we sometimes cheat and run the route a little shorter than it needs to be so we'd always push it just a little further third and five a little more manageable like if you listen to chris collinsworth and al michaels they'll say it's a manageable third down like coaches are constantly trying to put their teams in positions to have manageable downs then third and two like let's just hammer this thing right at you snot for snot our guys are better than your guys so i'm thinking Last night, I'm going, because it, it was driving me bananas. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, the Bears. Like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, third and eight. 
Third and eight is just like the, the Zillow leads, the internet leads, the, the people who are clicking on things that live in a, in a basement apartment in downtown Manhattan, clicking on a $14 million ski in, ski out and tell you ride. Like, yes, they're clicking on it. So third and eights are hard, right? There's a lot that goes into trying to convert that. You're not always going to convert that all the time. Third and five, a little more manageable, right? A little more manageable. These are your open houses. These are your door knocking. These are the cold calls, right? Build the list, serve the list. Like this is your geo farm on steroids. Third and five, a little higher probability and let's rock and roll. Third and two, y'all, this is the one you have to convert 100% of the time. This is your past clients, your sphere of influence. So focus on your third downs. This is something you can practice every single day. In fact, you should practice every single day because the more we practice when you're actually in live bullets, when you're in the game setting, you are going to finally be confident enough to say, you know what? We've done this a thousand times. I know exactly what play I'm going to run on third and eight. Sorry, I had to go meathead on you guys as a former football player and coach. Like I was like, there's just like, there's just too many things going on right now that I had to share with you guys. So that's all I got. Happy Monday, every single day.